while back on the sugar space, uh, as our ticker was alerting you, sources are telling us that the cabinet uh, could uh, likely, the cabinet secretary could perhaps hold a review meeting on ethanol this week, and it could be looking at the, the sourcing feedstock uh, between uh, sugarcane juice and C heavy molasses and B heavy molasses and so on and so forth. Manisha is here with more details. Manisha, what are you picking up? Well, thank you for that. What we are picking up from sources in the government is that the ethanol review policy meeting could be held this week itself. Remember, it was in mid of December that the government had curbed usage of uh, sugarcane juice and also molasses within uh, a making of ethanol there. But we do understand that there was also said that there would be a review meeting every month for this. Well, January came and went and we did not see a review meeting. It is almost Feb end and there's a review meeting now being planned on to this one. Uh, the markets have been waiting it for some time now. Just to alert you that in last Last year, the divergence of sugar into ethanol was to the tune of 3.8 million uh, tons. This year, it has been curbed to 1.7 million tons. So the whole blending target uh, seems to be getting all over the place. In 2023, the blending that we achieved was at around 12%. The target for 2024 in sense of blending has been 15%. But with the way the tenders have been issued at almost 2.6 billion litres, and what we have seen being tendered is just about 1 billion. So that would clearly not take you to the target of 15 percent. The industry actually tells us it could be much lower than last year as well and could fall below 12 percent of a blending target or numbers as well for 2024. Remember there also is a target of uh, around 20 percent blending of ethanol in 25-26. So that is what the street is really worried about and the government is finally coming on board to get a review meeting done on this. Well uh, if you look at the sugar carryover stocks those stand at around 8 million tons. Now the need or requirement for this is 6 million tons. So you are in excess of 2 million tons in sense of carry forward stocks. Now whether government allows this to be diverted into ethanol or does it allow some bit of an export as well is what the industry really seems to be speculating on. Apart from that, there are, the, the industry also is looking at a proper formula based policy when it comes to ethanol. So that is something that has been an ask for a longer time now. It's going to be quite interesting on what we see in sense of meeting in this week and what all comes out of that. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that, Manisha. This is going to be an important meeting to track. We'll get into a break. On the other side, we'll get you a few BTST calls from our technical experts. Stay tuned.